Hey buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as Hungary. This particular Great Admiral only applies to industrial and modern era great uh, naval units, so I think it would apply to the Ironclads, um, but the Ironclads are not that important, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the 100 gold from, uh, you know, activating them. Since Babylon is liberated, I'm going to maybe start heading over to the west to have a look and see if we can get started on maybe just ripping up some of their trade routes and stuff like that over in Yangshan. Most of the things that I want to improve over here in uh, Tabatiana are done. I don't really feel the need to spend my money, although, you know, it might not be a terrible idea just to get these extra two fishing boats online. It would be a decent amount of cash to do it but I think it will be worth it just, just to have the city be able to continue to grow and expand and, and not worry about like, you know, what, what the city is going to do in the long run. We do have the campus placed in here, so that's fine. Maori want a demand from me. Never ever give in to the demands from the AI. It will just make them more angry with you. Working on killing Busan. Let's go ahead and keep hammering the district. I would love to have a second privateer to combine together here. I might go ahead and swing this privateer up and uh, combine them next turn. Frigate completed in the capital. I would love to get the factory. I think I'm going to save up the cash for the factory and just keep producing frigates because I need as many of these as possible to be able to do damage to my enemies. It might also be a good idea to just get a musketman or two. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be a good idea. Yeah, you know what? I should really take a moment to get gunpowder and pick up a few musketmen to uh, send with this army to actually do the capturing of some of these cities. Um, well, actually, most of them are coastal, so I don't think I'll need musketmen now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I don't think I need musketmen. It's a silly move. We'll be attacking Busan again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with you and then combine you together. Now, with this caravel, I'm actually going to do a little bit of exploration to the east because there's a bit of a unknown knowledge over here that might be relevant. But of course, we're going to keep producing privateers and caravels because I don't see a need to produce anything else in here. I mean, I guess I could place the industrial zone here. I am producing a lot of other stuff in other cities. But you know what? I will go for the industrial zone over here in Segid or Segid. I, I, I have no idea how to say the city's name. University completed over here in Estergom. It would be nice to get an industrial zone in here as well, so I will place that and then we'll go back to producing more of these units. Monument completed up here in Sexkvr. I don't know how to say the city's name, but we will get to work on a um, we'll get to work on a harbor in here so that we can get a little bit more gold and all that jazz. We'll also use this caravel as well to do a little bit of exploration just to find out more about the map in general. As we move forward, we'll use this guy again so we get even more gold and the ability to plunder even more from uh, trade routes of our enemies. Let's combine these frigates together. Starting to build up a nice little army. I'm doing a little bit of scouting with my ironclad. I am going to start moving units over in that direction. Looks like I found a Korean skirmisher. Bye-bye. Pick up this tribal village with a built to get the knowledge of metal casting. Very cool. And over here in Chunchun, we're going to keep stealing technology. I think he failed his last mission, but if I can get just a few tech steals, that will represent a lot of science stolen over the course of the game. Keep hammering Busan. With this frigate fleet, I'm going to take the bombardment promotion because it'll allow us to do more damage. Caraval complete it in here let's go ahead and get another privateer caravel and you know what i'm gonna get started on another frigate because i have the spare nighter so i want to get as many frigates out as i can monument completed over here in kosig let's place ourselves a harbor right there get me even more gold it'll take a while for that to be built but that's fine i have a bunch of envoys i'd like to get to at least level two with bologna and at least level one with babylon That'll boost my science another little chunk along the way. Some good exploration happening over here in the east. Let's just kind of run along the coastline. Oh, we found the delicate arch and a few other nice things as well. Found myself a catapult out in the open. Let's see if we can't take him out. Mainly just looking for a little bit of extra experience on these units. Oh dear, looks like I found a free or independent city. Let's kind of run away and take a moment to heal with this guy. Let's go ahead and choose a land unit that wants to get a thing. I'm going to choose recon. And I'll put two points into that. That might swing it in my favor. I'm also going to go ahead and say that great scientists should be uh, stopped from being earned so that I can uh, buy some time to stop Korea from getting all the great scientists. I'll put a bunch of points into that. And great admirals were blocked. That's unfortunate. I was hoping great scientists would be the thing. Looks like great admirals were instead simply because, oh wow, Wilfred Laurier plugged a lot of points into that. That is a bit odd, but okay. And melee combat units do have a little bit more combat strength, which is fine. Let's go ahead and keep hammering this city. You can see we're starting to just wear it down. Unfortunately, we can only get so many units attacking at the same time. Let's keep on keeping on. Let's get that Huacha hurt. Good, good, good. We're doing a lot of damage to, his, to uh, Korea's units. She has a lot of units, but we'll have to wear them down. 
And uh, I finally have enough gold to purchase a factory. And I just need to save up a little bit more to get myself a coal power plant. Let's also plug in down here another frigate. Hey, I found Lisbon over here near Alexander, which is pretty nice because they actually have a pretty interesting bonus of trade routes being immune to being pillaged. Actually, speaking of trade routes, it might be a good idea to grab myself another trade route in the capital for 360 gold. It will slow down how quickly I get my coal power plant, but it will also mean that I get a nice benefit from it. I could do internal trade routes. The city doesn't have the housing to manage an internal trade route. I might go ahead and organize by gold again and see if I can just find a nice trade route. 20 gold and one science to production looks pretty good to me. What else could I pick up? I could pick up a bunch of gold. Uh, I could trade here. I think I might just go for this as well. Up to 412 gold per turn. Excellent. Also need to take out this if I can. And there it is. Let's let's uh, let's just keep this frigate heading west because we need to keep heading west to try and take out Korea. The Huacha has run away into the fog of war. Don't know where it went. No idea where that Huacha went. It went far and it went fast. You know what I can do? I can actually coastally raid this builder. That is very weird. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Something went terribly wrong here with the unit icon. All right, sure. Let's go ahead and buy this tile here for a gear. And we'll place that right there as well. Gunpowder is researched, so we can get a couple of muskmen. I'm going to send this frigate up here to take over for this guy. I'm going to have you run over to Kosig uh, to heal. We'll keep shooting the city. I'll bring this Carvel in to do a little bit of city damage. Just trying to bring the health of the city down to a reasonable level. There is steam power. What do we want to unlock? I think we were heading up towards flight. Correct. So let's go for scientific theory into flight, into radio, into advanced flight. Another privateer finished. Let's go ahead and get started on a privateer Carvel combo. We want to just have a relatively large navy. There is the industrial zone. Let's start building that up. That'd be a good move to start building that up. We've got a university in here, Privateer Caraval, all the usual stuff. Keep pumping out units to try and maintain dominance. Okay, Frigate Fleet is moving up. All these guys are almost ready to start doing some serious damage to Korea. Could also look for a few pillages with my Privateers. I did in fact steal the builder and the unit icons went back to normal, which is a very reassuring. Alrighty, Busan walls are now officially down. Let's go ahead and bring in this frigate and shoot it again. The city is almost dead. We should be able to kill it next turn. We finished another frigate in here. Guess what we're getting? We're getting yet more frigates. I want to have just an endless supply of frigates. We're working a library in here and you just hang out for a turn. Let's bring the ironclad over here. I want to pillage this harbor. I'm going to bring you all the way over to here. You'll be ready to shoot the city next turn. You're going to pop in here, begin powering down the city, and I'll have you just out here in a scouting position. I could attack with this guy, but I want him to remain healthy. We'll slowly chip away at the city with our units attacking. So I don't feel a major pressure to get hammering away at the city right immediately. Korea is now very, very, very uh, in favor of peace, but I need to get her uh, to be dead. We are in a golden age now, and we are going to go ahead and grab the two arms promotion, I think. On the other hand, I could grab myself Heartbeat of Steam. Reform the Coinage and Heartbeat of Steam are both really, really powerful here. I think in this case, I'm going to take Heartbeat of Steam because that's a... Um, going to give me a little bit of production for my campus districts which I think is pretty cool you're going to try to escape on foot and we did steal the technology of communications which is always nice let's go ahead and auto explore with you get you moving up here to combine together with this frigate take a shot there and we'll take another shot with this guy we need to start just slowly cutting down into the city we've almost got it under control Yangshan time for you to meet your maker let's go ahead and grab the plus 50 gold from coastal raids so that we can get a little bit more cash out of my privateer and wonderfully there is a um trade route running through here which will get me 400 gold which means I can swing back over to my capital and purchase the coal power plant which is going to only give us plus three production which is fine i can't believe i forgot to plug out the settlers card oh my god how long has this been in this should totally be the industrial zone card that is a relatively large mistake not the end of the world i'd also like to plug in the science card but for now oh there's an ironclad okay but but this guy has um it is it is a uh fleet it is a fleet so it should be able to fight this without too much trouble this Torres del Pain. don't know where exactly we found that but we found a natural wonder I'm gonna have you chase him down if you can ah there we go civilization has consumed a resource to generate some power excellent and looks like he's hiding inside that city so you'll have a promotion soon I'm gonna move you over here so that I can coastal raid next turn but we're gonna keep hitting the city we want to do as much damage again as possible 
We've completed another frigate here. Let's get these guys on the move. We'll get these guys to actually combine as they move out. We'll shoot this city once again. And I think this caravel now should be able to flip the city to my side. Excellent. And then we'll bring this frigate back in to start clearing out these units that are causing me issues. We're going to keep that city, of course. And we finished another frigate over here. Let's go ahead and get to work on yet more frigates. Just endless, endless, endless amounts of frigates. In the meantime, repair your monument, get your granary, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll deal with you when the time comes. And we'll keep you nice and happy. Let's bring this frigate up here to uh, continue to help. Because if we can get these guys' health down to a more manageable level, we won't have any trouble keeping them from retaking the city. There is civil engineering. Let's go ahead and I think I might even leave out public works here and just plug in the campus adjacency card. It's not going to give me a huge amount of science, but plus 10 is pretty reasonable. We're also going to keep hammering this city. I'm going to first, I'm going to coastally raid, which will get me a bunch of gold. Oh, that uses up all your movement? I thought it only uses three of your movement. That's a bit unfortunate. But we did pillage their coal... Uh, which we'll be able to get a repair on. I had planned to raise all of the Korean cities, and I think I am going to raise their cities, just purely because the the main threat from them is that they just exist and are generating science. So I just need to cut her down to something more like reasonable, because I'm pretty sure she's almost got spaceports and rocketry and all that sort of stuff. And if I can stop her from running away with the game, then I can run away with the game. Right, I'm going to get the Caravel to step out of here, take a promotion, get this guy to step up, shoot him. You're going to step up and shoot him. You're going to step to the left and shoot him. And there we go. We've cleared out all the Korean units here. Let's pop you into the city to heal up. And then we'll get to work on heading west. Oh, wow. Ayyafagul is hidden up here in the snow. Amazingly awful place for this to be placed. <laughs> not really super useful to anyone until the snow and ice melts, but not a big deal. First industrial zone with a starting adjacency of four or higher. That gives me plus three era score. Let's go ahead and start to hammer this city down. We need to get this city captured this turn because there's a Huacha in there and I don't want to deal with the Huacha. Oh no, it didn't fall. That is really, really bad. I'm going to get you to fall back to here for defensive reasons. You're going to provide support bonuses and we got ourselves another frigate in the capital. Do I have enough frigates? That is the question. And I think I almost have enough frigates. I still need a few more, I think. Workshop completed up here in Segzid. I'm going to purchase the factory. And then next turn, we'll get to work. Uh, we'll purchase another coal power plant. Let's get to work on something more meaningful, like a spy. Workshop here in Estergom. Workshops and all that sort of jazz feel very nice to me. They're very, very, uh, very, very powerful in my opinion. I, I kind of take back what I said about the industrial zone, dis uh, industrial zone district because they're a lot better than I gave them credit for in my deity tier list. Let's go ahead and combine these together. Excellent, we've got a nice little unit now. Right, time to shoot the city, then attack with the ironclad, take the city and raise it because there's no way I can keep this city for long. So I'm just gonna raise it and that'll be fine. And then I need to kill this ironclad right here. So what I'm gonna do is attack with this caravel. Then I'm gonna step forward with this privateer, take a shot at this guy just to whittle down his health a little bit. And then I'm gonna try to block him from doing anything by forming a triangle of defense. He might still be able to do something to me, but I think it'll be fine. University completed over here. I'm not seeing a huge amount of stuff that we would want to improve. You know what, actually, if I got a builder in here, I could justify doing quite a bit of tile purchasing to get some more of these fishing boats online. I'm also gonna swing over to Segzid and grab myself this coal power plant. It's worth six production, which is pretty nice. Not an amazing amount of production. We had some really, really good ones when I was playing yesterday as Rome on my live stream on twitch.tv forward slash potato whiskey. Shout out to my Twitch followers, appreciate that. All right, let's keep these frigates moving. The more of these guys I can have over on the offensive, the easier of a time I'm gonna have actually taking down Korea. I have a, uh, a spy right here. I'm going to take technologists and send them back over to Korea to keep stealing tech. You're going to be heading to the west. I'm going to go ahead and combine these privateers together. All right, refuse the deal. This is a bit of a conundrum. We have to deal with an awful lot of stuff here. Well, I know I can kill that without too much issue. This is a major defeat. However, you should be able to take this on and not die. Likely I lose a boat or two here. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. I could promote or I could shoot. I think I'm going to to shoot yeah i think i'm gonna opt to shoot here and then opt to promote on this guy i should have maybe just gone for promotions you never know how it's gonna go but i'm probably losing one or two of these boats it's fine it's not the end of the world we have a constant supply of them coming out we have cut down korea's army quite a bit though let's have a look at this city now i think i've built enough of a navy throughout my empire i think maybe maybe i'll do just one more round one more round of frigate 
Privateer and Caraval. Library finished up on the Egger. We're going to go ahead and get to work on universities. There's a Maori settler he heading up this way. I kind of thought it was a Korean settler. I almost tried to steal it, but they have a slightly different coloration. Keep on moving our boats along to the west. Right, let's go ahead and swing down to Chuncheon because this is going to be one of the last cities that I take so I can keep tech stealing from there for quite a while until we kill Korea. Okay, we lost two units, which is far from good. In fact, we almost, I think we lost more than two units. But I think I'm going to run away with you. I'm going to bring you forward. Oh, you don't quite have the range to kill here. Let's get you up to there, kill him. And then you're going to play defensively out of the fog of war, I think. Yeah, I need more units to come forward. A bit of a problem, I didn't have the throughput getting up here because I had to deal with Busan. But that's fine. Busan worked out in the end. Let's go ahead and put a cap right here to make this truffles better. It'll also give me access to the truffles resource, which I don't think I already have that luxury. Now, uh, okay, so I lost another unit. These ironclads are coming out really, really fast. I don't know where she's getting them. But she has a lot of them. But I am cutting them down slowly. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do a full retreat until I can meet up with all my units. And uh, then I will be able to kind of strike back. If they chase me down, I'll be able to do an incredible amount of damage to them next turn. Let's swing over to Canada and start gold stealing from, the, from Canada with our new spy. There's good potential for an industrial zone right here. That's a triple quarry. Um, if I could even put an aqueduct right here. Holy crap, this city has actually got an incredible industrial zone here in the long run. Let's place that aqueduct to lock in its price. And then we'll go ahead and also want to place the industrial zone once the city has grown a little bit. Privateer, Caraval, awesome. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and hide these guys over in America's territory just to get them healed up while we're working on taking out Korea. They'll come back into the fray uh, soon, don't you worry. And then we'll get the rest of this navy sort of assembled up. And then we'll start pushing out down towards Seoul. Korea really wants peace now and I'm just not allowing it. I'm just not going to be taking peace. I need to kill her. We have cut into our science gain per turn by killing that city, which I'm really happy about. And uh, I'm just going to keep mass producing frigates in here. Right, we got a workshop over here in Estergom. Let's go ahead and purchase ourselves the factory. Mainly looking to purchase the um, coal power plant for the plus eight production there. But in the meantime, I could get to work on a Statue of Liberty. That's kind of more of a diplomatic victory thing. I could grab myself a settler and do a little bit more settlement. And you know what? I'm not doing anything else with this city. On the other hand, I could also get builders. But I don't really have tiles to improve. I mean, I could improve a few tiles, I guess. Yeah, there's probably a few tiles worth improving. And this is where Liang is. So I will grab myself a builder or two. These are only four charge builders. But that's fine. That's enough damage to uh, to be. Or that's enough build charges to be useful and helpful. I could grab an industrial zone in here. I think I'm going to be mainly just leaving this city the way that it is, and running campus research grants in it for basically the end of time. Pop in here. Get yourself healing. You're healing up as well. Let's start cautiously moving in the direction of Korea. When I say cautiously, I mean mildly recklessly. We are of course bringing up as many of our units as possible to bear upon our opponents. Purchase the crabs over here in Dioskyur and we will improve that crab tile. And we'll of course be improving as many of these fishing tiles as possible because this city will... It's kind of working these kind of crappy two food, one gold tiles. Whereas it could be working a three food, one production, five gold tile. Right, we're beginning to approach the Koreans. We're going to pillage those horses for faith. We're beginning to approach them with our military. So it should be a nice moment. Next turn we'll be able to bring the full brunt of it down upon them. And uh, we'll be able to start really ripping down some of these cities like Seoul, Jinju and all that sort of stuff. Let's purchase the crabs over here and then place a fishing boat on the crabs and we'll lock that in. Starting to look amazing in terms of growth and production and gold in here. Alright, coal power plants plus 8 production in Estergom. It's up to 50 production per turn. Very, very powerful. We're going to start producing a... Um, a settler in here because I think if I'm clearing out Korea's land, I may as well do a little bit of settling on it once I have it cleared out. More and more privateers and boats are finishing. They're all making their way over. I will combine them together when it's convenient, but I'm not making a big thing about combining my units together. I'll handle all that once they're like, you know, towards the enemy or whatever. And another fishing boat is coming online over here in Dioskyur. Look how many fishing boats are in this city. Just look at the yields that this city is getting from this. And can you imagine once I get seaports, that's going to provide me with um, another plus two gold from every tile in this coastal city. In fact, I should maybe get seaports first so that I can have just like an excess of gold uh, to a ridiculous degree. Let's plan the assault on Seoul. I want to be careful about... Okay, so they can't shoot me. So I can approach the city from here. 
I can approach it from here. Let's get just as many of my ranged units into position to attack the city as possible. We are going to focus on killing these units around the city first so that they can't do too much damage to my own units. I'm going to take the bombardment promotion on you and we're going to keep hammering away doing as much as we can to the city. Right. I need a melee unit to get up here so that I can actually capture it. And there's a caravel ready to answer the call to arms. All right, tech stealing. Let's go ahead and keep stealing tech boosts. We're going to grab ourselves nanotechnology. This guy is just dead, unfortunately. Got caught out by some barbarians while he was on auto explore. I find that happens an awful lot, actually, with your units, but it is what it is. All right, uh, Seoul is about to fall. Do I want to do a pillage? I think I'm going to coastally raid this for a little bit of extra gold. I would like to get some experience on this guy. And I'd like to get some experience on basically all of my guys. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, who else would like a bit? This guy's level two, so I'll take it on you. You're going to swing in, and we're going to just completely raise Seoul. Boom. We're just raising every city that we can to cut into her science per turn. She's up to 242. She was up to, like, nearly 300 at one point. So we are having an effect. I think now that I've got a critical mass of navy, I can stop building navy. And I can start thinking about what ways I can improve my cities. So for example, there's a fishing tile up here. But do I want that fishing tile in this city or another city? Well, you already have two fishing boats. And if you had another one in combination with this horses, you would actually have another housing. So I tell you what. Oh, that's out of range. Never mind. Ah, that was a dumb move of me. <laughs> um, I suppose what I could get to work on is just doing some campus research grants. Just get as many scientific points as possible to get up through the tech tree. Let's shoot this cavalry here. Let's come down this way. Let's shoot there. Very good. Now we just got to do the last little bit of a sort of micromanagement for this turn. Stuff like doing a gain sources in here so we can start stealing gold from Canada a little bit easier. Right. We have made it over to Jinju with our very first set of boats. Let's go ahead. We should get just try, try to get damage in on the way on anything that we can just to kind of earn the experience as we move through. A lot of our guys are ready to continue moving along. I might want to find a fishing boat that I can pillage to get this guy healed up. But for now, it's all working out just fine. I guess you could have made an argument that I should have sent another set of boats up to the north. But I'm kind of doing a loop-de-loopy -loop kind of around the island type thing. And Korea is now down to 228 science per turn, which is a big deal. Because it means that me and Canada are starting to catch up with her. Now, she does still have like a massive lead in terms of technology. Because she has 48 technologies researched compared to America's 46. America might have to die. <laughs> America might have to die. We'll see. I was thinking about it, but we'll, we'll, we'll see exactly how things shake out in the late game. Let's keep... Oh, plus four science here by trading with Cincinnati. Very nice. No peace for you, Korea. You must be eradicated from the face of the planet. Right, let's go ahead and start purchasing in here. This is the very last fishing boat that this city can get, I believe. Yep, that's all of them online now. And it is working, all of them. And it has 11 population maximum. Look at this, it's making 39 gold per turn from the harbour, from the worked tiles, as well as a huge amount of production just from the little bit of what's going on in here. Frigate completed in the capital. I think we are now done making frigates. Let's get the entertainment complex up. It might be a good idea to get a, a theatre square or two as well. We'll kind of think about all that as we go. But for now, I think I'm pretty happy. I got another caravel in here. I'm just going to go ahead and send it on the long walk without any guidance you know what would have been a good idea to build the venetian arsenal at some point in one of these cities now sazed has a lot of production so let's go ahead and swap this tile right here and then produce the venetian arsenal it'll take me 18 turns but it'll be a worthwhile investment of my time if i want to produce more navy later on in the game i think i'm more or less done producing a navy at this point and I'm more looking for stuff like housing production, all that sort of jazz. I could put a mine. Oh, I could put an industrial zone here. And that would be very, very powerful. It's a plus four industrial zone, which means it would eventually become a plus eight industrial zone because it would be doubled. I would lose one of my production adjacencies on this guy, which would bring this down to a plus two industrial zone, which would really suck. So I think I might avoid doing that. On the other hand, I could put a commercial hub down. I could get theater squares. I don't think holy sites make sense. If I could get Suzerainty of Palenque, I would definitely levy them uh, to kind of wield them against Korea. But I don't think that's going to be an option this game. And unfortunately, Jinju actually has some pretty limited surface area for attacking. But So I'm not going to use this unupgraded um, frigate to do that damage. Let's go ahead and start hammering, preferably with 
just needs there, excuse me, preferably with our most powerful units who have already got upgrades and are, you know, conjoined together into fleets. May as well take out this district while I'm here. I don't see a reason not to. Keep hammering. Uh, is there a fishing boat? There is a fishing boat there that we can use to pick up a little bit of healing on you. This is the boring stuff that you guys don't want to see is me just like logistically moving my army in between turns. Still really have no idea what to do here in packs. You know what? I'm kind of light on entertainment, like uh, amenities and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to just place down an entertainment district right here because that'll potentially provide adjacency to some other districts should I want to place them later. No, they pillaged my industrial zone with a spy. That is so painful. I'm going to have to go ahead and cancel this and get to work on repairing those things. Right, let's move this frigate into this tile. You'll go here, privateer, and steal. You'll pillage that for health. I could coastal raid, and you know what? I'm going to coastal raid, because these cities are getting killed anyway, so I may as well get some value out of them. Let's keep hammering the districts in here. Excuse me, I clicked on you. All right, there we go. So sometimes uh, when you kind of click too quickly, the game kind of forgets that you're trying to do something. Can't quite kill this city yet. Let's send the rest of these guys to the west. Let's shoot you. Then we'll combine these together so we have less boats to worry about. And then we'll use you to kill that. You'll use you to kill that. You're pretty healthy now. And we'll get you up to here. Nice trade route that we could pillage over there. Very good. Time to renew all my alliances. I bet all the AIs are going to be looking for alliances over the next turn or two. Uh, let's see. When do these run out? These run out in three turns. So we'll get all our alliances renewed in about three turns. Keep repairing the factory and all that sort of jazz. Envoys, envoys, envoys. I definitely want to make friends with Babylon to get that extra little chunk of science out of them. The more science I can get, the faster I can get up to advanced flight. All right, Jinju, your day has come. Let's go ahead and keep hammering this city. Bada bing, bada boom. City is now down. Let's swing in with a caravel to finish this off. There it goes. Jinju is dead. Let's raise the city. It's going to piss off pretty much everyone else on the map, but that's fine. I don't care if they're really, really super duper pissed off. It's not the end of the world for me. Since I plan to try to kill them in the late game anyway. Trade with New York for that extra little bit of science and gold from our capital. Excellent. And uh, I'm kind of tempted to put farm a, a farm quadrangle in here in the center. Although I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. We'll think about that one. Let's attack the caravel. I'm going to attack with the frigate. We're going to be coming in over here. Let's keep moving. Oh, is that a pillageable trade route? Excellent. 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 Thank you for the like 425 gold that we're going to get from that. Excellent. Keep on moving your bottoms over for the war. Oh, my spy was killed in Chunchin. Well, I guess that does mean we can kind of just sweep, swoop in and... Uh, kill these cities. I'm kind of tempted to keep these ones for myself. So that's going to be difficult if they're constantly like rebelling because I have like a bajillion grievances with um, Korea. So I might just skip out on keeping these for myself. Myself? Myself? I, who knows how to say that. Pillage this right here. Swing these guys in and get ready to assault the city. Looking good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Excellent, we're ready to attack. Right, we've got a full surround with a whole bunch of ranged units that start hammering the city one by one. Should see these defenses fall very, very quickly. If you're wondering how I'm doing this hotkey, just press R and it'll like choose the ranged attacks. So look at that, in a single turn we took down the city almost a halfway, which is quite nice. Especially when you consider that every time you attack a city it actually get, loses resistance to further damage. All right, we got ourselves another spy. I think this time, I am going to send this one to Korea again, but I'm going to send it over to Daegu. I want to see if I could just squeeze out a little bit of extra science stealing here from Korea. And unfortunately, since my spy died, I will have to build a new one, but I don't think I'm going to build it here. Well, you know what? This is probably as good a spot as anyone to build a spy. Do I have Scorched Earth as a technology yet? Oh, I do have Scorched Earth, so I could plug in expropriation to start producing more settlers. Uh, let's go ahead and unplug that and then we will plug out triangular trade and we will plug in expropriation so that we can produce settlers more effectively. In particular over here for example I'd like to get those settlers up because I'd like to settle some of this stuff. I'd like to settle uh, some of the land that I'm clearing Korea out of. I'd like to settle some of these islands and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool to me. First things first just let's head up there and settle that. Oh I accidentally built an ironclad. I am going to send that to combine together with my other ironclad. I didn't really want another ironclad because they kind of take up resources but I'll accept it for now until I can get that problem fixed. I'm not producing any more ironclads, am I? No, I think that was the very last boat that we were going to build this game. There is an okay industrial zone right here, which is not terrible. Um, 
what other things could we do in here? There's some unimproved fishing tiles. So I think what I'll do is take a moment just to get a builder. And these aren't really efficient builders by any stretch of the imagination, but I do have the pyramid so I can kind of get away with building builders inefficiently because my builders already have like a, a, an inbuilt efficiency. I could also definitely use a builder over here in Egger, but I would much rather maybe get to work on something like the entertainment district to keep the amenities nice and high in here. So I'll pop that in right there. The harbor has been completed over here in Sexivar. I'm going to purchase the lighthouse and then I will also purchase the shipyard to give it plus six production. Now the city is pretty productive in comparison to what it could have been. I'm also going to place myself a campus over here by this mountain for the plus one. Plus one is not a lot, but it is better than nothing. Similarly over here, the city has finished what it needs to. We'll get to work on that campus too. This is the power of making this much cash. Uh, let's quickly, before the tide of uh, you know opinion turns against me, let's quickly go ahead and sell off our diplomatic power uh, to Sweden who will give me a good deal on it. So maybe she'll pay like 70 for that. Okay, she'll pay a good deal. So I think I'll give her 100 and see how much she'll pay for that. 128, excellent. So I'll just plug in all of our gold and then slowly click up until I can get all of our gold. And then Canada, I think too, usually pays a premium for Diplo favor. 97 is a pretty good deal for 100 Diplo favor. So that's another big chunk of gold per turn that we're making that'll help keep us fueling along. Let's go ahead and swing up here. And now that we have established ourselves, let's go ahead and do some more tech stealing. That looks good to me. Privateer, time to upgrade to loot. Let's keep on smashing this city. See you later, city. No promotions available on most of these units. And we have now taken it out fully. And then I'll take a promotion on you. Not before I move you forward, however. Let's move you over to here. Take the bombardment promotion. And then we'll wipe this city out. Is anyone close to a level up? You know what? This guy is actually fairly close to a level up for the unit that it is. We'll go ahead and take that 11 experience, and there's the promotion available. Excellent. And uh, you know what, actually? I can keep this city if I want to. Or I could liberate it to the Maori. Do I want to liberate this city, or do I want to keep it for myself? Problem is, my grievances with Korea are so bad at this point that it's very unlikely that I can do anything. So just for the fun, I'm going to liberate it, because that'll get me Diplo favor that I can go ahead and sell off to Canada again. And he'll give me 116 gold for that Diplo favor. Excellent. And, you know, a lot of people say, you know, Diplo favor selling, isn't that like kind of cheesy? Isn't that kind of ruining the game? And I can see where you're coming from. I can definitely see where you're coming from that it's kind of, you know, it's it's very it's a very powerful strategy, right? It, it's, it's really, really effective. And it's, you know, there's not really much the AI can do against it. But the way I see it is it's kind of like just selling strategic resources, right? It's not that big of a deal. I can definitely see where people are coming from, right? So we're going to unlock flight and then we're going to get to work on aerodrome. We're going to go up to radio and then we're going to go up to advanced flight. Uh, but really we want to stop at radio and see if we actually hit aluminum because if we don't, then we are in bad shape. Now this seaport here would represent a massive increase in the amount of gold potential that the city can create. So we're going to go ahead and get to work on the seaport in here. We're also going to work on the seaport in here. But first I get the entertainment complex, then the seaport, because I need to get the amenities up here. Sazed looking for gold and science trade routes with New York. Now it's likely that these guys are going to be pretty upset with me next turn once the uh, thingy runs out. The friendships and alliances and all that run out next turn. I think that's next turn, right? Let me have a look. No peace for you, Korea. Thank you. We have brought Korea low. She's down to 179 signs per turn. We've lost all of our friendships. Can I declare friendships? Okay, thank goodness. I'm going to be able to, before the um, before the AI's friendshipness with me sort of flips about, because I've got a minus 40 from grievances here with other players. If I can get the friendships declared, I can keep them going. So let's go ahead and send a research alliance to you. Christina, sure, I'll take an economic alliance with you. You'll give me a tiny bit of cash. Norway, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a military low. You know what? Alexander is a better target for a military alliance, actually, now that I think about it. Norway, maybe I'll take a religious alliance because they seem to be pretty pretty just fine with that that'll give me a little bit of diplomatic favor and then of course with oh no he already has an economic alliance damn it i should have double checked that that happens sometimes it's not the end of the world but it is unfortunate uh, i am going to go in here and tell him that i would like to get open borders with him just to keep things nice and smooth and lubricated in terms of friendship also known as lubricating the friendship area i need to be careful i'm going to get demonetized if i keep making jokes like that okay all right suwon and trunch chunchin want to get taken down let's keep on moving 
Keep on moving, keep on moving. He does have an ironclad in that city, which is mildly scary, but I think we can handle that no problem. May as well start with some opening volleys to do a bit of damage. City is almost dead already, actually. In fact, I could potentially kill it this turn if I really wanted to. Let's just do a bit of damage. It'll get me some experience on this ironclad, which is always useful. Of course, there is a unit here making my life difficult. See if I can just hold on and see if that unit will move away. Oh, you know what? Now I really want to make this canal city but I'm going to settle on the gypsum, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to settle. Well, the gypsum is a, is a really workable tile, actually. But if I don't, if I settle anywhere else, you know what? I might settle on this river, actually. This is scary. The crossbowman is going to force me to settle inefficiently or else they'll kill me. Let's shoot Su Wan and then take it out with our ironclad. Very nice. And then we'll get moving on Chunchin. There we go. City is taking some hits from us. This one should fall fairly quickly as well. In fact, so quickly that I'm going to start sending my guys up to deal with Jeonju, Jeonju and Guanju. Do I want to keep the city? I'm going to try to keep the city. What is the, what is the negative loyalty from grievances? Ooh, <laughs> it's minus 10. That's rough. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep these cities. I mean, I'll plug Magnus in just to see. I would need to purchase like a monument. I would need, uh, you know, so much loyalty in here that I don't think I'm going to be feasible to keep these cities as is. Oh dear, looks like I found her navy. That is kind of bad let's go ahead and form a triangle of defense now a quadrangle of defense let's sort of start sweeping around let's kill the frigate here and then shoot the ironclad just to bring him down to a slightly more manageable health level of course we'll keep damaging this the rest of our navy is going to be heading north you're going to be going west though because there is an ironclad that you're destined to meet up with and become a conjoined ironclad keep heading up this way excellent all these guys are making good progress could definitely use more units heading up this way and of course i will send them that way i've also got this uh a military emergency that's a bit unfortunate builder completed in miss sulk now i did improve that fishing boat tile already so we'll get to work on some other stuff let's get the seaport in here for the lots of gold oh my goodness lots of enemy units around here let's see if we can't do some damage to them to discourage them from being annoying like i predicted this crossbowman is being annoying but if i step into the gypsum hill he won't be able to catch me and then I can step here and settle where I really want to which is on this fresh water because I don't want to settle here because I want to settle there as well. Uh, looks like Korea is running away with her navy actually which is a bit unexpected. I have no diplomatic favor. Hopefully people don't vote this up. I have a lot of friendships and I have a lot of stuff. It failed. Excellent. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Where did this Korean boat go? I swear it went north. I swear to God this boat went north and ran away. But it, now I can't find it. Anyway, let's take the city out. Shoot it again. Then hit it with the caravel. Oh, that's not enough damage. Damage. Anyway, look, I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.